Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist here in Seattle. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Also, thank you, big huge thank you to the Astra Hotel in Seattle, overlooks the Space Needle. They worked with me to throw off a great 1 million follower party for TikTok and it was just amazing. It was a great night, beautiful weather and we helped raise money for a great cause. Camp Discovery that works with the AAD, the American Academy of Dermatology, is for children with chronic skin conditions, whether it's ichthyosis, epidermal lysis bullosa, alopecia areata, vitiligo, eczema, psoriasis. Those children are all going to come together and it's all sponsored through donations where they can get out, play in the water while wearing sunscreen, of course, and just have a great summer together. So it's a beautiful event that they have some sites all over the country. And so we were able to help sponsor some children and it was just so much fun. So thank you to the Astro Hotel for that. Now jumping into summer skincare, I know I did a summer skincare routine last year. I want to focus specifically on oily skin. Skin, but if you have sensitive skin, dry skin, combination skin, this video will also apply to you because our skin is dynamic. It changes the seasons or wherever you are. Like when I was in Hawaii, my skin was very, very oily. Now here being in Seattle, it's much more combination, but swings towards the oily side during the summer when it's hot, a little bit more humid. Let's focus on a skincare routine when your skin's oilier in the summer. Okay, so let's jump into cleansing. In the morning, if you wake up, you feel like your face is all clogged, feels like you got a lot of grease and grime stuck on your face, you want to use a nice gentle cleanser in the morning. I like to use a foaming cleanser, whether it's CeraVe foaming facial cleanser, that's like 15 bucks at the store, lasts forever. You can use it as a body wash too. But I also like La Roche-Posay's Tolarian Purifying Foaming Cleanser. And I even have a sample of it right here that I take with me traveling this summer. And this is nice because it has niacinamide, it has the ceramides, and it has this prebiotic thermal water. This is great. You know, maybe 17 bucks for the pump bottle and it just lasts forever. When you see your dermatologist, ask for these cute little mini sizes uh, samples so that you can take it with you when you travel. I'm going to Singapore very soon to give a talk at the World Congress of Dermatology. I'm going to be bringing that for sure. It's going to be hot and humid. Next thing, what do you do after that? Let's talk about protecting your skin with a serum, an antioxidant serum, a serum that will block the free radical damage, neutralize those free radicals from causing hyperpigmentation and aging of our skin. We'll get that with pollution here in the Northwest. We got a lot of smoke from big fires in the area, whether it's from Canada, Eastern Washington, but some pollution, sunlight, that can add to photo aging of our skin. And so what do we do to protect it? Vitamin C serum. So I've talked about affordable options like CeraVe vitamin C serums are about 20 bucks. That's a great start, 10% ascorbic acid. But my personal favorite is Skin Better Science Alto. Now Skin Better Science has recently recently been acquired by L'Oreal and it's become more accessible with me working with them. We've only sold it out of our office. You had to come in to see me as a patient and I would have to give it, you could not buy it online. Now you can acquire it online and I have my link down below so you can go to my online store. You can register as a patient where you are associated with me and then you can purchase these great Skin Better Science products and it's a really convenient way to have it shipped to you instead of you going into my office and getting a re-up on say your skin Better Science Alto or even Alpharet. Let's go over Alto. Alto Defense Serum. This has 19 antioxidants. They came out with a newer Alto that I'll be talking about more on the channel, but I wanted to just introduce the OG Alto. This has 19 antioxidants. It does have vitamin C, but other things like coffee in it. And this is my favorite antioxidant serum. It is a higher price point like SkinCeutical CE Ferulic, backed by a lot of science. Skin Better Science, also backed by a lot of science. They work with dermatologists who run clinical trials on behalf of them. And so I really believe in this brand, really nice brand. So I just want to show you after you cleanse your face, applying a pump onto the face. I like to start on the back of my hand so you can treat the back of your hand as well. But a little goes a long way. This is just money in terms of protecting your skin, helping with hyperpigmentation. If you have melasma, hyperpigmentation, you want to go for a nice serum with antioxidants. And this just has all the goodies, it has niacinamide, things that will help brighten the skin. I'll list more on the side here, more ingredients, but just a great serum. And then after that, you want to cover up with a moisturizer. And yes, you can use a moisturizer in the summer, or if you rather just have lotion with SPF, that's fine too. Like CeraVe and La Roche-Posay make nice moisturizers with SPF that you can consider, but I want to show you some dedicated moisturizers for the summer. First up here, moisturizer wise, we have La Roche-Posay's Tolarian Double Repair Matte Moisturizer, same color as my cleanser here. This is a nice consistency here. It's meant for those with combination to oily skin combination, meaning you have dry cheeks, but oily T-zone. So your T-zone, your forehead, your nose, and your chin are all oily. So this is a nice lightweight moisturizer if you have 
oily skin. See how that disappears? It feels weightless, absorbs very quickly. So I like this one a lot. The other one that my wife loves, as you guys know, the Neutrogena Water Gel here is a fragrance version, but it also has blue dye in it, so it looks really pretty. But if you don't like fragrance, you can go for the Hydro Boost Gel Cream. It looks exactly the same, but you notice there's no blue color and also no fragrance. This one has a nice familiar smell. I think it's about 20, 25 bucks for this. Before I could find it for 15 bucks, but I think it's all the prices have gone up. So this lasts a long time because a small amount goes a long way. I love the texture of the water gel. I did a comparison video before the water gel versus the gel cream. I think the gel cream doesn't absorb as well as the water gel. So water gel definitely is nice. You can use this morning and night. Now the most important step of your routine, you guys knew, SPF, sunscreen. SPF 30 and above this summer, reapply every two hours. If you're gonna get sweaty, you're gonna jump in the pool or the beach, go for a run, you wanna reapply every hour. All that sunscreen will get washed off with the sweat and also get deactivated by the intense sunlight. A lot of my patients ask, why did I get a sunburn even though I wore sunscreen? It's always because reapplication, reapplication, reapplication is an issue. Always have to have sunscreen on you. I know it's inconvenient keeping a bulky sunscreen in your pocket, but we can talk about strategies of reapplication because that's so important to protect your skin. So if you have oily skin, lightweight sunscreens, don't be afraid of chemical UV filters. From what we know, we don't have any evidence that's dangerous to us at this moment while I'm making this video. We do know that small amounts of it being applied to your skin can be found in your bloodstream. We don't know of any negative side effects to it. If you have oily skin, I would say consider a chemical UV filter, sunscreen, or a hybrid. Hybrid meaning you have zinc oxide and you also have chemical UV filters to make it lighter weight. Classic example of that would be Elta MD UV Clear. There's a tinted and non tinted version of that. That is nice if you have oily skin because it has niacinamide in it. The dupe for that would be Dermatology's Universal Tinted Moisturizer or their non-tinted moisturizer with SPF 46. Those are great sunscreens with niacinamide, but they also, they're a hybrid. They have octanoxate and zinc oxide. So they make it very lightweight and it blends into my skin. It's one of our favorites in our household that we use on a daily basis. It's not water resistant though. So that's more for protecting your skin on a daily basis without getting sweaty or jumping in the water. Let's go back to chemical UV filter. Now, let me show you some really lightweight sunscreens that you can consider that are chemical based. First up, we got Super Goop, the Play. This is the Everyday Lotion SPF 50, and we have the Watery Lotion by Super Goop. This one's SPF 50 as well. What I like is that these are both water resistant. This larger one, the Everyday Lotion, is water resistant 80 minutes versus this smaller one is 40 minutes water resistance. So I just wanna show you how lightweight this one is. This one is a little thicker than the other, but still great for just disappearing right away. Just a few swipes and it goes right into your skin. It's SPF 50 and PA4+. PA4+, meaning the UVA coverage is at its max. It does have a smell to it. It has some botanical ingredients, so it does have a nice sweet citrus, citrus smell to it. This one, the same. This is even lighter weight, but also has a little distinct smell. I asked my MAs which one they thought was smelt better, and they were split on it. it 50 50 and that one just very lightweight. So this is great for the face. This one's face and body, I'd say is good. This one's five and a half fluid ounces. You pay for super group, it is more expensive. This one's the classic 1.7 fluid ounces. So use this for your face, this one for face and body. Now, if you're open to hybrid sunscreens, the newer sunscreen by CeraVe is a combination of zinc oxide, plus they have three chemical UV filters. Lighter weight, I did a YouTube video on this, kind of liquidy, but very lightweight. This one is water resistant as well, 80 minutes. Has the ceramides from CeraVe and niacinamide. So you got your niacinamide in there, especially for those with oily skin, niacinamide for the win, okay? Now, if you're like, I don't want any chemical UV filters in my sunscreen, what's the best one? Now it's hard, right? Because full on mineral sunscreens are gonna give you a white cast most of the time. This one though, if you have sensitive skin, this one's only mineral and I think it's lighter weight. I feel like Ivani cream hit the spot on this one. Of course, you can still say there is a white cast. That just is part of the game, but they did a good job of making this lightweight. Vanna Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. This one has SPF 30. This one is not water resistant, but if you wanna go for all mineral. It looks thick. I'm used to the lightweight texture of chemical, but I feel like they did a good job here. Vanna Cream is nice because they don't put all the extras in it. There's no botanical ingredients. There's no essential oils. It's just straight up zinc and the inactive ingredients, ceramides, stuff that we like, right? We also have squalane. We have glycerin, things that it can be hydrating. This is a nice option, but again, they're a little thicker. So some people with oily skin or acne prone skin may not want a mineral sunscreen because it's a little too thick and occlusive for their pores that tend to get 
clogged up and cause inflammation leading to acne lesions. All right, before going into the nighttime skincare routine, I wanna emphasize sunscreen reapplication and ways to reapply. I'll do a video just on sunscreen reapplication, but this is just a little starter. The one I'm using a lot this summer is Neutrogena's Mineral Ultra Sheer Stick. This one is water resistant, 80 minutes, and it's SPF 50. As you can see, I use this quite a bit on myself and my kids. It does leave a little bit of a white cast, but not too bad for an all mineral sunscreen. I actually like having a little white cast because it will tell me where I missed a spot. And whenever you use a stick, you wanna take about three to four passes over the area before calling it quits and moving on. Versus sunscreen, we guys know it's a half a teaspoon amount for your face, ears, and neck. That's an appropriate amount of the sunscreen cream form. This is by Ors and Alps, and this is a chemical UV filter based stick that has avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. This one is ultra invisible and sheer. You gotta be very careful with that rule of applying three to four times before calling it quits, okay? Before moving on to another section. Another very affordable option, probably the most affordable option I have is the Cetaphil stick. That's about $10 versus this. Price has been jacked up to like $18. So I don't know what's going on here with Neutrogena, but I like this stick a lot. This one is also 80 minutes water resistance. It's so small and portable that I almost feel like I lose this one a little too much. So I've gone through a few of these. And then the other small one by CeraVe that looks the exact same size, also mineral based, water resistant 40 minutes versus 80 minutes. This one goes on quite sheer for an all, uh, all mineral sunscreen. Let's take a look at the Cetaphil. Pills a little bit more readily, feels a little thicker and probably leaves a little bit more of a white cast there. The Alta MD UV stick. This one's broad spectrum SPF 50 plus 80 minutes, probably the most expensive on our lineup. This one is zinc oxide only. This one is leaves a little bit of a white cast too. Not bad though. Pretty invisible too. But again, one, two, three, four passes before moving on to the next section. All right, so it's the end of the day. You wanna come home, wash your face. What do I use at the end of the day? I wanna use something with salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. So we got CeraVe's new acne control cleanser. It's 2% salicylic acid. You can see back here, salicylic acid, different from benzoyl peroxide. Their acne foaming cream cleanser. That one looks exactly the same in terms of color scheme. Same type of blue, but you can see here, different name, acne control cleanser, 2% salicylic acid. And this has the ceramides that we're used to seeing. And then it has the hectorite clay. Hectorite clay is great if you have oily skin this summer because it will help absorb that excess oil. And then you also have niacinamide, which is great. Regulated sebum production, help you with brightening your skin. It's very good if you have acne prone skin. So this is one of my favorite new cleansers. Check out their 4% benzoyl peroxide cleanser. That's also a really good one. So I'll alternate between using this one and the benzoyl peroxide cleanser. I'll throw in Panaxel every once in a while as well, or Clean and Clear, all great benzoyl peroxide brands. Just keep in mind though, wash it off completely, the benzoyl peroxide cleanser, because if you have any residue on your skin and you apply a shirt or you wipe away with a towel, you will bleach your towels, your linens, your clothes, if you have some benzoyl peroxide on. Salicylic acid though, this is a BHA exfoliating acid that will go down into your pores, lipid soluble and clean out the pore. So it's really nice if you have acne prone skin, but this will not bleach your clothes. Okay, next. After you have dry skin, you let your skin dry for like half an hour, I will put on a retinoid. On a daily basis, I do tend to try out new retinols that are sent to me in PR packages. And I'm always keeping an eye out for the new latest and greatest retinol that comes out. But the OG 10 out of 10, everyone asks, what's your 10 out of 10 over-the-counter retinoid? It's gonna be Alpha Ret by Skin Better Science. And I'm gonna say this is now officially in the over-the-counter market because you can now obtain Skin Better Science through the link down below. You can get it online, like I mentioned before, for Alto. You can get Alpha Ret now online. So Alpha Ret, this is a retinoid paired with two molecules of lactic acid. So that's really cool because usually I say don't combine a leave-on exfoliant like lactic acid acid, glycolic acid, some kind of AHA with your retinoid. Having two leave-ons together will increase your risk of irritation and I don't want that for you. So what do we do? You get something that's already formulated with the lactic acid with your retinoid. So you're getting the best of both worlds because retinoids do increase cell turnover but it's not a true exfoliator. So you still need some exfoliants every once in a while. And I'm not, I'm not a big fan of exfoliants where you need to do it strictly three times a week. Maybe I'll do it once a week. If you wanna be really good, you can do three times a week, but I don't think it's necessary. Now, if you have it already built into your retinoid with that exfoliating action, plus you have all the benefits of a retinoid, meaning you get cell turnover, you get to help with the, with the hyperpigmentation with the cell turnover, helps keep your pores clean. It keeps the pore lining from shedding into the pore so it doesn't get clogged, and also helps with fine lines and wrinkles because it's increasing collagen production. Now, if you look at this in uh, terms of studies-wise, Skin Better Science has found that 
this is not inferior to prescription tretinoin. I believe it was 0.025% in the trial. So if you look at this retinoid paired with lactic acid compared to a tretinoin, generic tretinoin that I would prescribe you or your general dermatologist would prescribe you, they are pretty much on this part with each other. This is not inferior. So that was a study that looked at non-inferiority versus inferiority and this performed very well. So what you do is one pump gives you a pea-sized amount and then you apply little dots on your face and then connect the dots onto dry skin. You don't want to apply it to damp skin because you will increase absorption of your retinoid and increase your chances of getting an irritation, contact dermatitis. Feels good, no sting, no burn. I'm used to this because I've been using this for the last six years. I've been selling this out of my practice for the last six years and I've just been really impressed by the brand. Now after this, you can wait a few minutes and then you can go ahead and layer uh, a moisturizer over it, okay? Just take a small amount with your clean hands, little dots on the face, moisturize over. Now voila, that's it, okay? If you find that you are having a you're having trouble with your retinoid and you're getting redness on your neck, you're getting irritated from the retinoid going towards your eye because of course it's gonna diffuse towards your eyelid. Even if you're not putting it on your eyelid, I always say apply your retinoid to outside of the orbital bone. If you are finding some irritation, put a little Vaseline or Aquaphor on your eyelids, on your neck before applying your whole pea sized amount of your retinoid. So you would cleanse your face, let it dry, or you can go right ahead and put your Vaseline onto a moist damp skin. Onto your eyelids and then your neck and then go right ahead and apply your retinoid your pea size amount to the entire face and that should help immensely in preventing things from going into this because this is pretty much like extra skin petroleum jelly is awesome because it is a barrier ointment so barriers are great if you have eczema psoriasis atopic dermatitis stuff like that it's just like another layer of skin so if you can apply that before applying the active ingredient like your retinoid or say an exfoliant if you're using paula's choice bha you can definitely apply some vaseline onto the sensitive areas first and then you go to sleep and you repeat it all over again definitely wear your sunscreen if you're using a retinoid because you want to protect the new skin that's coming in your cell turnover you bring in a new skin you want to protect that skin at all costs it's not a classic photosensitizer but you can get some sensitivity with a retinoid because you're just bringing in new skin okay so hope this helps thank you again to the astro hotel for having me uh, and my guests spreading awareness on camp discovery if you haven't heard of this please look into this great cause look into donating to the camp discovery aad fund uh, to help uh, children go have a good time this summer out in the sun all over the country so so please hit the like button please subscribe to the channel thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys for the next video all right take care and peace